Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 5th of March. How are you finding the full moon of last week? This occurred in your opposite sign of Virgo, which is about practicalities. It's about discrimination. It's about details. Whereas your sign is much, although mutable as well, in other words, has the potential to move and flex and work through situations while the sun continues to combine with Neptune, your ruler, which means your viewer situations can remain to be quite fluid, particularly around your interactions with others. You're probably still feeling mightily creative. And in fact, by the end of this week, Pisces, an awesome angle to Pluto can see one project or situation which means so much to you take a giant step forwards as there is a link with the Sun and Pluto in the last three days. This could also be some kind of internal changes in terms of your future hopes and aspirations. And as I say, your great gift is that you can flex, you do move, you're not necessarily static. But sometimes that means that you can be a little bit restless or your ideas are changeable. And that is possible this week, but you're challenged in this regard by the role of the move of Mercury from your sign into Aries and Venus from your sign into Aries 2 on Wednesday. Now these two are going to be forging a magical alliance for the next few weeks. Don't be surprised if you enjoy good food and wine over this period of time or have a real stroke of fortune when it comes to finances. It's also true that Mars, which is in a very uh, confident and visible part of your scope, forges a great link with Uranus, which is also in the sign of Aries. There could be a sudden opportunity to make progress financially or in your career, but it may require you to be very bold, decisive, but also make a snap decision. Don't, therefore, analyse something too much, because it may be gone in the blink of an eye. It is also true that Jupiter, the planet of growth, does go into a retrograde on Friday. That doesn't mean to say that your ambitions to widen the scope of your world are going to be trimmed back over the next four months, but it just suggests you're going to have to work for it, like all of us. There is a quarter moon on the same day, and again, this is going to be about your ambitions battling with your individuality. You may encounter someone in the following week through to next, the following Thursday, in a position of influence, who's not necessarily totally swept away by some of your ideas, but this is why it's going to be important to stay cool and understand that's just part of it, and this is a time when you need to show maximum self-confidence in your individuality. This is especially so as the week draws to a close and Saturn puts a bit of a break on both Mercury and Venus. Even if there is something spectacular shaping up in your situation, or there is an improvement in your finances or your appreciation of life's pleasures, Saturn's just reminding you to feed this back into how it impacts on your future. In other words, not to be too rash and to try not to live too much in the moment. So it's always important to live in the moment, as we know, spiritually, but also it's important to see the big picture at the same time. And that's really what you're being asked to do here. It's been lovely being with you. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd love it if you would, or like or comment this video, but for now, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.